Hey everybody, wanted to show something I picked up today that is going to a custom. This is going to a custom. I will try to edit in the picture that it's going to, but I wanted to review this. This is cool. I'm not going to review the accessories or the box other than if you want one, it's Honey Bee Acres, okay, uh, around town van at Walmart for $10. $9.98 or $9.97 or whatever, right? And here's why it's so cool. All right. Um, it is in scale with 3.75 inch figures. And I'm going to grab a couple to show you that it is indeed in scale. Not with 4 inch Halo figures because it's a little too small for that. Because those are big people anyway. <laughs> okay. And, well... Let me, I've already opened it and looked at it. This one's actually defective. It's brand new. What's defective? Look at that. The wheel. Oh, shoot. Lights. Lighting should help this. The tire. I hope that helps. The tire is like that. And it's not just pulled over wrong. It's molded wrong. Okay. Okay. Because, look, it's fine on one side. And then it's miss, it's molded wrong. But that's okay. It's going away. All right. Here's what it is. All the doors open. And the door actually slides back. That's, I love that. And this comes open. Okay. And that's what it looks like. Right. It does not say Volkswagen, but it is obviously a Volkswagen. And then the other side, same thing sliding doors these feel like you got to be careful with them okay so be careful with them. if you get this be careful with it and yeah it's got that little rack what is that i don't know what that crud is up there can you see it it's reflecting it was like that i haven't i've it's been in the car all day or since i picked it up before work all right it does not have any leg room for action figures because the action figures that this is uh, matched with it's a line the honeybee acres thing they don't have feet they're little like uh the fisher price little people where they're just little things that sit right there but let me show you if i was to cut out that floorboard or just replace the interior altogether because it looks like it's one big piece of plastic. Or, you know, mod it, whatever. It would be able to, he would be able to fit perfectly sitting, right? Because there he is looking out at all of us. You can't see that very well. And if he was, okay. If he was to swing his legs around to the front, well, there's no place for his feet. But that's perfect. That is the perfect. That is 3.75 scale. And he is 3.75. He's he's one of the new Joes. Striker. Sergeant Striker. And, yeah, that's, that's perfectly in scale. Right? That is perfectly in scale. That interior is the only problem where there's no place to put the feet. And there's room. See? Look, there's room. See where the wheels go up? There would be room to cut that out and have room in the in the front behind this plastic part here. They just didn't do it because their figures aren't made that way. The uh, They're bunnies. And like cuddly critters, which it's fun. Let me look at the box. Let me show you something. I figured I found something funny on the box. Something that cutesy. Oh, yeah. Look, I dropped it by accident. It rolled off the table. It survived. It's fine. <laughs> the doors popped open. Totally unscripted. Can you imagine? Okay. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, my desk has put it with so much weight over the years that. Yeah, it's fine. I'm just making sure I'm looking at it over here off camera. <clears throat> oh, I just bought it. Oh, my God. It's a Sunny Days toy. It's not like Nerf. Okay. If you look at all these 
well, nothing is going to focus. Critters, you got their bears, cats, dogs, and rabbits, right? Yeah, barksters, mixcampers. Oh my god! And oh, sorry, they do have feet. They're just really short, big-headed. You can see, right? I love how they uh, put all these to us when they're domesticated. They're cuddles, right? Bears eat cats and dogs and rabbits, and cats and dogs eat rabbits. Three predators and a food source. There's all kinds of wrong with this, but that's okay. They're all cuddly. I don't ever see... Okay, teddy bear is like... You, you, you don't have too many domesticated grizzlies, okay, or black bears. But anyway, there's that. And I did want to talk about this thing. Okay, it is made by Sunny Days Entertainment. And as we all know, Sunny Days makes a whole bunch of military... Wait a minute. Anyway, so, yeah, Sunny Days makes a whole... Yeah, I just noticed that blew off when I dropped it. And it did not break. It just snapped apart. Yay! It's back on just like it ought to be. It snapped shut. Sunny Days knows what they're doing. Because they make also these. This is what I have right close to me. Easy to get to. It is 3.75. It actually comes with an action figure. And it's... It's perfect, right? This is not a comparison between an APC and a Volkswagen minibus, okay, microbus. This is not a comparison. It's just showing that it is in scale, perfectly in scale. I'm very happy, and I will try to have edited the picture into what I want to make with this using the printer, right? Because... I'm going to keep one for final faction, and that's another reason to fix that, that interior that has zero leg room, but they have, it comes with cup holders, which is awesome. Cup holders, bonus. Okay, thanks, Sunny Days and Honey Bee Acres. See, it's not a perfect Volkswagen, but I can live with it. Look, bulgy eyes. Anyway, as far as this toy goes, it's got a decent paint app if you can get all the wheels correct, right? Everything seems to snap apart and snap back. Um, this looks like it's got a screw in there, and it has some screws holding it together. There's no steering. It just rolls. They're on an axle. They're not on pegs. Back door opens. Side doors. Yeah, I showed you. There is no glass. There's no plastic glass here. It's just open, which is fine. That's fine. Has that rack. And it says Honey Bee Acres on the front. It's got blinkers and it says HBA, which is the line. And it looks dead ringer for a Volkswagen minibus. Okay. Uh, like I said, okay, $10 at Walmart. Modders. Okay, now you know who used one that... The Libyans that got to Doc Brown in Back to the Future. The Libyans, Marty, they found me. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't a very good thing. <laughs> but I have two of these. One of them is going to go to a custom, and one of them is going to go to Final Faction. It's going to be like the uh, mech carrier, because the mech, I think the mech will fit perfectly in there. And then, I don't know, mount something on top and... This is perfect. It didn't come with the top. This is perfect to make something that will go on top like I don't know yet. I'm big on comms, so I've got a few satellite dishes sitting over there. So I may do comms man. I don't know. That's it. Thanks for watching. Out of here. Bye-bye.